Up in the bridge, Officer on Watch or OOW Captain Edsel Ang and his team are overseeing the ship's pilotage. It's their duty to ensure the ship's course is a safe one while they keep a lookout for suspicious activity in the IRTC. We have the Petty Officer on Watch, we have the lookouts, the helmsmen, uh, as well as uh, the navigating uh, radar specialists. We also have uh, Bravo 1, Bravo 2, who are my typhoon gunners. One station will report and the following, the next uh, station will then supplement with more information for the OW to uh, make sense of this information and then decide if the ship should be slowing down, increasing speed, coming left or coming right to make sure that uh, we remain navigationally safe. Also on the bridge is Weapon System Supervisor ME2 Ebenezer Moses who takes charge of the ship's arsenal. Okay, I think charges are from small ranges, gun to the big one, for example like T226, AR-15 uh, and the big gun 76mm and even the Typhoon guns 25mm Bushmaster. I'm tasked to be a lookout but I'm also constrained for the elms and the Typhoon operator. So as and when required or it's a man while constrained, need me to close up as a Typhoon operator, I'll be able to close up as a Typhoon operator. If the bridge spots something suspicious, they gather the information and give it to the Principal Warfare Officer in the CIC, who decides how to proceed. But what happens if a suspicious-looking skiff is heading right for the ship, with the intent of blowing a hole in her side? This is gonna and that's where this comes in. This is the giant orange killer tomato, used by the ship for target practice to prepare for such incidents. This is gonna we are issuing a warning by using ship on as well as an error alarm. Unknown vessel, this is Republic of Singapore warship. You have to turn away from my ship immediately. I will open fire if you fail to comply with my orders. Marlaban, Ayan Idim Kugu Elinaina, Farinta Digninta. So the next uh, step after verbal warning and alarm, we will move on to warning flares. We are going to issue a uh, verbal warning to tell them that we are going to issue warning shots. So warning shots uh, will be definitely offset away from the target and spray onto the water itself, a line, to tell her this is the line that she shouldn't cross. Check, check, check. Right one, shoot. Right one, wait. <coughs> a seven, a seven, eight, zero. If you continue to breach our defend bubble, we will definitely go for disabling shot. Disabling shot doesn't stop them from moving, and that's our objective because we want to do self defense. Fire to disable, give a green six, zero. Right one, shoot. So finally, when we reach our last line of uh, barber, we will go for destruction. For exercise, uh, target is destroyed. Target is sinking. After a long day of work, those who are not on watch sit down to a hearty meal prepared by the talented chefs. After I eat 5 minutes later, I'm still surviving the new craft here. Delicious. Really, really good. Really tough. Awesome. Great. The chefs are excellent. On duty in the scullery are two people you may have recognised from the second episode. To maximise the limited number of personnel on board, everyone on the ship has more than one role and those roles are rotated through the deployment. If you couldn't guess it earlier, these guys are also the medics. Hello, sir. Yeah, I'm not feeling well. Oh. I'm not sick. Phlegm. Yep. So what's the colour of the phlegm? Is it white, Brownish. yellow? Brownish. Yeah. Okay. So maybe you just uh, take your blood pressure, your vital signs first lah. Okay. Basically, just want to check that you know you are feeling, you are really feeling okay, okay. and see if there's any other uh, associating symptoms with it. Okay. 
Third Sergeant Fu Yong Tiang is one of the two medics attached to RSS Intrepid for the deployment, and he's one of the full-time National Service men on board. The medics are the ones who do preliminary checks on personnel who report to the medical centre and assist the medical officer in diagnosis and treatment. First thing when the patients come in is to take the vital signs of the patient, to check on the patient's situation and to assess how the patient is like. And for myself, my role is to report to the medical officer on um, the patient's situation. As a national serviceman, I'm definitely very thankful to be part of this deployment as I believe not many national servicemen get to have this kind of opportunity to come for this anti-piracy operation. I know that this will be a part of my memory that I can look back on.